Okay, our study of evil, we pick up a new section today, the heart, the heart and evil, as we will begin in Genesis 6, 5, and this will last about uh, three weeks, we like said we do five sections, there are 14, so the evil and the relationship with the heart, our inner being of what makes our character, to who we are displays an evil nature that man is born into, sin. And I'm not totally against psychiatry. I feel that there are some people who genuinely need a psychiatrist and I think psychiatrist is also blown out of proportion. I think medication is used too much and yet I am not saying don't use medication. Jesus himself said that they that are sick need a physician. So I'm not completely you know don't go to the doctor and then I'm not completely rely on the doctor. It takes prayer and the doctor. But as I was saying with the psychiatrist, they deal with your head. They're already not going anywhere. For psychiatry and doctors say it's your head, the Bible says, and you'll find in these 14 lessons that we'll do, Lord willing, it's a heart condition and we'll study it out and as I've said before you got to get all these lessons but this section number six of the heart like I said it'd be like three weeks this is an important section to get so Genesis 6 5 I'm there with you you can download this now on our website uh, this report, it's got the scripture, but I'll turn with the scripture with you. Good practice. And God saw the wickedness of man was great in the earth. This is before Noah's blood. That every imagination of the thoughts of the heart. You thought you only think with your, your head. The thoughts of the heart was only evil continually a routine <clears throat> before the flood of noah and his ark and all the story of the animals there was a routine that the wickedness was great in the earth that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually friend we're, we're there now But it's, it's America that the riots, it's not worldwide yet. Now, we just had, uh, uh, oh, still doing COVID-19. It's worldwide. But the imagination of the thoughts of the heart and not the brain. Again, man says the brain and God says it's the heart. Now, as I said, one who meets with a, with a psychiatrist to solve a head problem. There's no relief for the problem according to God that created our bodies. Is a heart issue. Man in his natural state of his heart and the thought are evil continually not always but it's ongoing in a diet of wickedness with the help of video games music television books and others that feed the lust of sin irritates the thought more so why are there more and more public murders? It's not the evil head. It's the evil thoughts of the heart. And we'll see that. 
they're dishing out legalizing the mastery of sin in media video games I'm gonna say TV and movie production books we are the generation today are just surrounded by wickedness they're grown up with wickedness I mean when I grew up and we had video games we had a little line with a ball that bounced up and knocked off that color line came back and we bounced off and you know get rid of that color line or we had the, uh, what was that that tennis game we had two lines and a ball and you know you had to get the ball or, or we lost then we went into space invaders and then asteroids And it wasn't too far along because I remember my grandma, my brother and I, we would go Saturdays. Grandma would give us a certain amount of money each. We would go to the pinball place and play pinballs. And I, my brother was video games. I was pinball. And I could start seeing already as a young child smut and pornography. I wasn't saved. Half-dressed women and in the pinball game machine. I play, there was a pin go, pinball machine that I loved because I wanted to be a police officer and I think it was called Highway Patrol, something like that. And it, you know, it had four sets of, uh, of flippers, it had an upper deck and it was about running from the police. Well, what has that come for today? People are running from the police. They don't want the police. And all this stuff has focused into the brain. No, I didn't say brain. I'm saying heart. Yeah, I wanted to say what the world says. And it goes into the heart. And when you, you get all three or four weeks of this study, you're going to say, you know, they say fatty food, salty food, and cholesterol, and, you know, high blood pressure. That's not healthy for the heart. All right, that's the physical heart. We got to watch our salt. We got to watch our fat intake. I've known several men now in and out of salvation of Jesus, and some that were lost, some that were saved, and just have a problem with where their artery. But the heart that you know that that inner self of, of, of what we are and who we are naked before the eyes of God, when you fill it with filth, you're going to get a filthy heart, and that's the problem. And that's where you got to come to Calvary, not a psychiatrist, to be cleaned by the blood of Jesus and not a pill. It's not the pill is going to get rid of, I mean, the pill will just make you drug. You still got the sin. You still got the consequences of sin. You still got reaping of the sin. You still got the shame of the sin. You still got the conscience of sin. You need the blood of Jesus Christ to confess your sins. And he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us. What a pill in psychiatry cannot do of all unrighteousness. One cannot be fixed by a brain doctor. When the trouble is actually the heart. No doctor of the flesh can fix the evil thoughts of the heart. And read Genesis 6, 5 again. Your heart thinks. Except by the new birth. The new creature by Jesus Christ. And the sharp sword of the word of God. Now once you get saved. Once you get that new birth. You're still going to sin. I hate to say it. I still sin. First John 1 9 is written to a Christian. Romans 6 23, the wages of sin is death, is a great Bible verse to use for the unsaved, but it's written to Christian. If a Christian got saved and did never sin again, he would live forever. Wages of sin is death. But I got the gift of God through Jesus Christ. So evil is the thoughts of the heart. 
the thought of the heart. Genesis 8.21. Genesis 8.21. Noah's come out of the ark. The door of the ark has been opened. The animals have been set free. Noah has offered some of the clean animals by sevens upon an altar of fire. God is pleased. And this is what God says, Genesis 8, 21. And the Lord smelled the sweet savor. And the Lord said on, in his heart, God has a heart. Now, God doesn't have a heart that pumps blood, but he's got that very nature and being in him that we have. But his heart is pure and sinless and holy and righteous and complete. Sort of like what Adam's heart was before Genesis chapter 3. I will not again curse the ground anymore for man's sake. For the imagination of man's heart is evil from the, his youth. Neither will I again smite any more everything, every living creature, as I have done. So the flood of Noah absolutely did not change the heart of man. Even after the worldwide flood, even after the worldwide COVID-19, the flood of Noah's day, man came out of the ark with the same heart of imaginations of evil. There were eight people in that ark, three men, Noah, Ham, Shem, and Japheth, and their wives. And in the very heart of each of those individuals, was the imagination of their heart to do evil. The flood did not change that. The entire population of the world, minus eight people, did not change the imagination of the heart of the people. And friend, we are all related. I don't care if you're Chinese. I don't care if you're Russian, if you're African, if you're European, if you're Canadian. If you're whatever you are, we all can change our uh, bring our lineage to Noah and to Adam. Only by the blood of Jesus Christ and the application of the Word of God is the only answer to the imagination of man's heart being evil. You got to read the word of God to know what is wrong. Because the Bible from Genesis to Revelation will spill out who and what I am. And believe me, if I go through a passage of scripture reading today and I didn't hit any of my sins, if I read the Bible every single day from Genesis to Revelation, I will hit my sin eventually. That's why people don't read the Bible all the way through. Because if they read the Bible all the way through, they would be hit with their sin. From the youth. So go ahead, soak the children in murderous, adulterous, and violence of video games and movies and books. And you're only going to feed, not the physical heart, but the, that heart within them that is already evil. And I believe we'll come to Jeremiah soon. I'm looking right now. Just seeing. Jeremiah. I can't I I don't. Uh, 
I'm at the right place. I want to check that email. I don't have that. Jeremiah says the heart is wicked and deceitful. So, Galatians 6, 7, you're going to reap what you sow. In America, why is everybody they don't want to please? Why are they all burning buildings? Why do they believe that they, they matter over other people's matters? Because their parents didn't teach them, right? Their school didn't teach them, right? And all these years, the schools have been teaching the theory of evolution that dog eat dog and, and the top man on the ladder gets the survival of the fittest. So you got the world in America today running in the field of the jungle. Well, you've been teaching them jungle books. You have not allowed or disciplined the children that uh, that don't respect their parents and don't respect their grandparents and don't respect their their teachers. How should they dis How should they respect the police and other authorities? And you've got people today beating up elderly people because you won't allow them to respect the elder in your own family. Praying, if you're going to point the blame to why are the kids acting the way they're doing today, you got to go back to mama and daddy and many of the households today, they don't even know who daddy is. And it's even sorry the other day, because I, I watched Court TV, Judge Judy and the People's Court. I love those two programs. And I forget which one it was. And one of the judges asked the woman, go, well, who's the father of that child? And I, listen, I don't watch the other court, you know, I think the other court programs are just, I think they're carnal and I don't even think they're real. I believe Judge Judy and People's Court are real court cases. So they say. So the court, so the judge asked the woman, well, who do you, who is the, who is the father of that child? That woman said, I've had so many relationships, I wouldn't even have an idea who it was. Well, of course the children don't have no identity. And Dr. Spock has said, give them a little kiss on the forehead and send them off to bed, but don't get the yardstick, don't get the paddle, don't get there behind. I'm telling you right now, in 2020, what's going on in Seattle and what's going on in, in Minneapolis is the fact is time out don't work. But don't worry, it'll get worse. The Antichrist is coming. Galatians 6, 7. Be not deceived, God's not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth that he shall also reap. You're reaping what you rejected, the word of God. And God stepped back and said, hey, don't call on to me. I told you what to do. You didn't want to do it. Look at Genesis 6, 11. Go back to 6, verse 11. And the earth was also corrupt, was corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. In verse 13, and God said to Noah, the end of flesh has come before me, for all the earth is filled with violence throughout them. Behold, I will destroy them with the earth. So don't go crying. All oh, the cities are burning down in America. All oh, the, the, you know, the, the chaos in America. Actuality, it's only two cities maybe three or four america's not the earth and jesus said as in the days of noah what you're seeing in america today in 2020 is only a preview of what's going to happen on the final days when jesus will come so the evil here is imaginations of the heart from the youth. And God said through the book of Proverbs, you're to paddle there behind. You're not to give in to their crying. You're to teach that kid, father, mother, you're to teach that kid right and wrong and in the law there was if that child would not obey the mother and the father would bring that child to the judges this child's a glutton this child is disobedient and they would stone that child 
But we can't have capital punishment today. Friend, 2020 in America is a preview of what's going to happen worldwide before the Lord comes. Don't worry, it will get worse. Jesus Christ is our blessed hope. Psalms 141. Right before I do the preview for all these videos, I'm going to check that other Jeremiah verse. I don't want to miss that one. I hope it's here. I'm not going to spend the time now to go looking for it. Psalms 141.4. Oh, I love to read my song. Uh, maybe this one you missed. Psalms 140. What is it? Psalms 141 4. Incline not my heart to any evil thing, to practice wicked work with man, to work iniquity, and let me not eat of their dainties. David says, throw out the video games, get rid of the video movies, get rid of that TV program, get rid of the television, and get their nose in the Bible. You don't want to do it? Then you watch your city burn, and you watch them take over the country, and you watch the ignorant adults who don't know how to be adults Act like, I can't do nothing with them. And then you morons are going to vote those people in the same office that they're not running that office right now properly. Your voting don't work. Minneapolis and Seattle proves it. If the President of the United States had any space, he would step in as the President of this country and say, I am not allowing that. Get out of my way. But he's too worried campaigning around. The children are running the government. The children are running the country. Don't worry, it will only get worse. Only Jesus is our blessed hope. So look at the plea to Psalm 141, verse 3. It is not to a doctor of medicine. That doctor of medicine cannot cure you of the evil of the heart. But the plea, the prayer goes to God. David says, God, don't let my heart get inclined to any evil thing. Mama, Daddy, if it is evil, throw it out. A little leaven. Leaven's a whole lump. Jesus told us we need a physician to see one. But if we have an evil heart condition, it's not a doctor, it's the Lord. And today, it's the Lord God on Calvary's cross who shed his blood that we might believe and put our faith in it and be cleansed of our sin. That's the trouble. That's our trouble, my friend. We got a problem. And no other man is going to help our problem. Don't go run into a priest. Because a priest can't help you. Because he himself is a sinner. And many of your priests are having relations with altar boys. That is hidden underneath the carpet. You can't clean sin with sin. That's why you need the sinless one, Jesus Christ. We have seen, we have, we have to stray from evil. But with the heart issue, we need help of God through Jesus Christ to get to victory. And friend, when I did this report, it was not 2020. 
none of this mess has happened. And we are to the point of quarter of 19. Is the government lying to me? Is the media lying to me? We don't trust nobody. Do I wear a mask? Don't I wear a mask? And when we're in the realm of evil and sin, there is no truth. For Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. America, God bless America, absolutely correctly not because there is no truth in America. Even your Baptist churches don't have the truth anymore. Mark 2.17 Jesus heard it and said to him, They that are whole have no need of physician, but they that are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Well, when it comes to sins in your heart, you need the doctor, Jesus. Proverbs 12. Proverbs chapter 12. Proverbs chapter 12. Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 12, but Proverbs will kick you in the butt on how to raise your children. But you're not going to read Proverbs 12 in the school. You're not going to read uh, the Proverbs in the, in the uh, children's and family department. You're not going to have Proverbs in the welfare line. You've got children today who sue their parents. Proverbs 12, 20. Deceit is in the heart of them that imagine evil. Look at that. Deceit and evil. There are known occupations that deceiving others, as in used car salesmen and pol politicians, but not all, some, I didn't say all of them. And what would be the most normal thing for a Christian in 2020 to be concerned about? The Bible and living for Jesus? No, I'm a Republican or I'm Democrat. What are you styling? I get asked, what are you gonna vote for? I don't vote. Because that man on the ballot may be lying to us. But the man Christ Jesus never will, cannot, is unable, and will not lie to me. I am not putting no trust in any sinner, such as a politician, a priest, or any man that sins, and all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Don't bring me your voting. I'll tell you, they're sinners, and they can't be trusted. I will tell you to do what the Bible says, to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, to serve the Lord Jesus Christ, love the Lord Jesus Christ, and please the Lord Jesus Christ. And politics doesn't do it because neither Jesus or any of the 12 apostles ever got involved in politics except to witness to them about the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. And that got you angry. Tough cookie. There are false prophets, and there are false preachers, and there are false teachers. And in the realm of church and religion, there is all kinds of uh, falseness in occupations and church and religion. Imagination of evil deceit of the heart why has that guy deceived the whole flock because it was in his heart he wanted to we have the imagination that is evil and again it comes from the heart and the bible and not universities of medicine no university of medicine can cure the deceit of the heart but God's blood 
and the Bible and the new birth to become the new creature. Those who imagine evil of all occupations and of no occupation, it is from their heart. And not only is their imagination evil, but there is deceit and fraud. I can't believe that guy swindled me out of that money in that business. I can't believe the lemon that he sold me. I can't believe that they didn't finish their work. Where did that come from? Their heart. The heart. And it's sorry that anybody and everybody who is a sinner has the same capability. My heart is able to deceive. My heart is able to swindle. But you got God has to feed in the conscience. The Bible has to work the conscience. The Holy Spirit has to work the conscience. My mother used an uh, used an uh, uh, yardstick on my conscience when I was a little boy. There's no conscience. There's no blushing today. Conscience is used by mom and dad correcting their children, the preacher preaching about sin, and the school not to teach anti-God, anti-Bible, anti-Jesus. It's all messed up. Deceit is the act of practicing deceiving, concealment of distortion, distortion of the truth for the purpose of misleading, dishonesty, fraud, cheating. That's from dictionary.com. Where does that come from? John 8, 44, the devil. Jesus said that not only is the devil a liar, he's the father of lies. And when you deceive somebody and it's in your heart, that's your father, the devil. You say, what if a Christian does it? Then I'm going to question his salvation. Because Jesus said it is the father, the devil. Not father God. When you are in an age of deceit, you are in the realm of wicked heart. With evil imaginations working their deceit. And I wrote this long before, April, uh, before 2020. And it's only going to get worse. People think that the magic number 2020, oh, you know, once we come to 2021, things are going to get better. It may get a little better, but it'll get a lot worse. The Antichrist is coming. The book of Revelation is coming. I've read the book of Revelation. I've studied the book of Revelation. It's going to get worse. And one great thing to say, the church will not be here for it. All right, Jeremiah 3.17. I got this note to check out that other verse. And we really don't want to forget that verse. Jeremiah 3.17. At that time, they shall call Jerusalem the throne of the Lord. And all nations shall gather unto it. In the name of the Lord to Jerusalem, neither shall they want any more. After the imagination of their evil heart. Millennial passage. After the second advent of Jesus Christ. In the millennial kingdom. The wicked evil heart will be no more. Jesus Christ brought the victory. God has raised from the dead and called those that are alive of the church. They have been judged at the judgment seat of Christ. Israel has been given a new heart 
in the spirit of God, there will be sinners. But the verse specifies those that gather in the name of the Lord. Scripture has told us there will be some nation that will not come to the Lord in the millennial kingdom. Zechariah 14, 17, 18. But the Christians, when we come back, will not have that evil heart. The nation of Israel will not have that evil heart. But there will be some. But the majority rule for once will not be that evil heart. In Proverbs 12, 20, evil is deceit, is an imagination of the evil heart. Jeremiah 3, 17, will be gone for some in the millennial kingdom. And the next great step after the great white throne judgment, and those will be new Jerusalem, new earth, and new heavens, there will be no more ever evil, wicked heart. What's going on in 2020? An evil heart. It's in the Bible. What will solve 2020, 2021, 22, 23, 20? What will solve the evil, wicked heart? The Bible preaching of Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the Scripture, was buried and rose again the third day according to the Scripture. The new birth. The new creature. But don't worry. Many will go to Broadway and few will go through the straight gate, the Bible tells us. It is because mama and daddy, the government, and the school have rejected God, have rejected Jesus Christ, and has rejected his King James Bible. Now you reap what you sow. The only thing that's going to save you is the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. But that's not going to stop the troubles and problems. Because many will not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ.